this is Ishita here and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I make travel videos and this is yet another video from the Singapore series. In this video, I am going to take you to the beautiful and the most unique garden that is Gardens by the Bay. What you must definitely do here and what is alright if you skip it. To follow more of my travel journeys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. I bought tickets as two conservatories for $28 which included Cloud Forest and Flower Dome and separately Floral Fantasy for $15. From the moment I entered Floral Fantasy, I was impressed by its dreamy aesthetics and the fact that all the flowers and plants here are natural was a cherry on the cake. This spot looks so magical and it's actually my favorite spot here. This zone has these hanging bouquets filled with beautiful pastel colored bright flowers and it looks quite exquisite. I also see a common question around if floral fantasy is same as the flower dome. I personally so far love floral fantasy and haven't seen a prettier indoor garden. Stay tuned to see more of my flower dome experience. The timings of this gallery are 10 am to 7 pm and I had reached just by the opening time. I think that would be the best time to avoid crowd. After Floral Fantasy, I headed out to the giant baby statue in the meadow section which is quite nearby from the Floral Fantasy. This 7 ton statue is beautifully balanced on an arm and it looks like it is floating in the grass. The whole garden is a quite vast area and walking entire day would be quite hectic. You can opt for the shuttle service costing $3 which operates every 10 minutes from Bayfront Plaza to Flower Dome. And note that last ride is at 8.45 pm. I was greeted by this beautiful waterfall located right at the entrance and is one of the largest indoor waterfalls at over 35 meters height. Next, I took the elevator and headed straight to the top floor leading me to the lost world section. Descending from here, I headed straight to the cloud walk and it offers amazing view of Marina Bay. leaving head out to the secret garden it is made of some waterfalls and some beautiful miniature flowers flower dome is world's largest greenhouse and holds guinness world record there are wide varieties of exotic species of plants from different continents 
I will be sharing how you should plan your day if you are looking to cover these spaces quickly or planning to spend entire day at the end of the video. Continue watching the video till the end. Regarding the comparison between floral fantasy and flower dome, both these observatories have different sets of species as flower dome has more of plants. I personally loved floral fantasy as there were more flower species there. So as it was raining yesterday and I couldn't visit the OCBC Skyway and Supertree Observatory, today I am going to visit the place and let me show you how it looks from there. There are total 18 super tree groves. These trees are man-made but they have real plants growing in the trees. Located at the tallest super trees canopy, it's the best place to have a bird's eye view of the gardens by the bay and marina bay sands. This walkway is suspended between two super trees at 22 meters height and is best visited in evening for glorious views. Next, I am headed to the most exciting part of the day, the Super Tree Grove Light Show. Now, I am going to watch the beautiful light show at Gardens by the Bay and this is totally free. that uh, the three to four hours that you have to cover here it can get a little tiring so do uh, plan your lunch accordingly uh, more about the food limitations is going to come in a later vlog so with this the day two has come to an end and i'm going to find some food again this is a bit of a task and that is why i had a few mixed feelings throughout the day because to find snacks to find meals especially since the food is expensive here so you do have to plan accordingly eat something heavy and come mostly i recommend so that you don't end up getting quite famished because you have to walk a lot in my opinion, if you are planning to visit Marina Bay Sands, that aerial view is more than enough and you can skip OCBC Skyway and Super Tree Observatory as there is no additional offering. If you have one day to cover Sky Observation Deck and Gardens by the Bay, you can start your day with Cloud Forest, heading to Floral Fantasy and Flower Dome next. By evening, you can visit the Marina Bay Sands Sky Park and enjoy the dusk view. Head to Gardens by the Bay for the Garden Rhapsody Light Show at the end.